It's Saturday the 5th of November 2016 and I'm at Warminster to do a short section of Wessex Ridgeway as far as Hitsbury. Now on the footpath linking Warminster Station to join Wessex Ridgeway and there's a rusty old implement here. This is quite a short walk to join Wessex Ridgeway. At this road we now join Wessex Ridgeway which goes up there and there is a bit of road walking to do. At the first road on the right, Wessex Ridgeway turns right. And I think there on that post is, yes, a Wessex Ridgeway marker. We come to this junction and now Wessex Ridgeway turns left. Down there. Some beautiful autumn colours beside the road. At last we turn right off the road along Wessex Ridgeway and the Imber Perimeter Range Path and there's the path ahead. Seems to go steeply uphill. A short distance along there's confirmation we're on Wessex Ridgeway. A short distance past the Wessex Ridgeway sign in the last clip. Views open up over to the right. There's the path ahead and we're heading for Battlesbury Hill Fort. At least the weather's a lot clearer than last week's walk along Wessex Ridgeway. In all that grey clag. Now entering Battlesbury Hill Fort. An Iron Age Hill Fort with quite impressive ramparts. You can see ahead there. some of the ramparts of Battlesbury Hill Fort. The problem with these hill forts is that you can get root finding problems quite frequently. I hope that's not going to be the case here. I'm following one of the ramparts at the top and there's one over to the left, a higher one. I hope this is the right one. Fantastic views over Warminster ahead. Still heading along the impressive hill fort, Battlesbury Hill Fort, and great views over to the right and ahead. Still walking along the outer ramparts of Battlesbury Iron Age Hill Fort, and the sun's come out now. And now superb views still ahead. At this point we drop down to the right to the Kitting Gate ahead. Fabulous views from the Kitting Gate ahead. Just past the Wessex Ridgeway marker, so I'm en route. The path now heads to the next hill and you can see the stripling checks in the side of the hill ahead. The noise in the background is an army firing range. Splendid views over to the right and back towards Battlesbury Hill Fort. That's the way I've come. We come to this wide concrete trackway where we turn right for a short distance. And over here, there's a good view of the lynchets on the hill. We now head steeply up the hill. On the top of the hill there's a tumulus, a burial mound. Great views looking back 
there's Battlesbury Hill Fort. Now looking ahead to Scratchbury Hill Fort. Now heading down to a road. We join this road for a few paces and then turn right along the sign posted footpath just ahead. Having turned right, looks like a steep climb up to Scratchbury Hill Fort. Good view back to some of the lynchettes on the previous hill, Middle Hill. You can see the tumulus on the top that we passed. Some of the ramparts of Scratchbury Hill Fort. Great views over to the left. It's quite windy. More ramparts of Scratchbury Hill and more great views. Look at those ramparts. Mind you, the path I'm following has become very narrow. Now turn left through this gate and along that path there. Decent views over to the right from the path. There's the path ahead. As you can see, we're still following the Inver Range Bruce path as well as Wessex Ridgeway. And that's the way we need to go. Just past the Kissing Gate, a bit further on from the last clip, we come to a point where these magnificent views over to the right. And there's the grassy path of Wessex Ridgeway ahead. Further on, the path passes more tumuli. The path strides on across another field. Here's a great sign to see in the countryside. But looking back, there are some superb views. As you can see, the path's going to go into that wood with some decent autumn colours. I must say, I'm feeling a bit under the weather today. I'm glad this is a short walk. But there's some views there over to the right. Now in the small wood, which is a bit of a contrast to the rest of the walk, we're coming towards the end of the walk now. At the other side of the small wood, more great views open up ahead, and we turn right along the edge of the wood at this point. The village of Hetsbury in the end of the walk coming into view, looks like Hetsbury church there and by the way where we turned right to follow the edge of the wood in the last clip we left the Imber Range perimeter path for the last time well following Wessex Ridgeway Wessex Ridgeway leaves it for the last time there I'll say it for about the hundredth time splendid views ahead <laughs> but there's no denying it We turn left and follow the field edge with trees on the right. We now turn right down here and looking back, the line of trees I followed, lovely autumn colours. We now cross this main road to take the path ahead into the centre of Hetsbury. Now at the bus stop in Hetsbury and the end of today's walk.
along Wessex Ridgeway. I'm feeling a bit rough, so I'm quite glad it's over today, despite all the brilliant views.